Listen, I want to get into something though before we go further, what I should have did first. Joe, we'll start with you. How did you find out about street beefs? I was like, I was in like middle school and I was going through YouTube searching up street fights. I seen the uh, street beefs going, so he'd be in class betting a dollar for who win. <laughs> so we spend it all the time. Now you from Willing too? Yeah, I live in Willing. I'm originally from Philadelphia. Yeah. My man, my man. Um, so what made you get into fighting itself? Did you just get in a lot of fights in school? No, nah, I mean, not at first. Not until my dad. My dad died when I was 14. After that, I turned into a high head. Everybody say something crazy. Look at me carry up and fight. Ready to go. Yeah. Sorry to hear about your loss. Uh, did you take wrestling, any of that in school? I wrestled in middle school a little bit. I ain't really messed with it all like that. I only did it for football, though. My man, my man. Uh, Dolo, what about you? How'd you find out about street beef? The same thing, like being in school. We <laughs> always watch it and we get in trouble all the time because we were supposed to be writing like on an Excel point or something. We're on street, literally see street beats. And then right. oh, I see that he was on it. And then like, I'm on YouTube one day and I see Nate on there. I'm like, what? I called him. I said, what? You're on Street Beast? I said, how do you do that? I want to do that. So the next time like, we went out there and I fought him and I like it. It's fun. Now. I, I'll tell you on camera, on record, and I don't like telling fighters, especially young fighters and fighters that, you know, just for fighting their first couple fights because young men have a tendency to let stuff go to their head. It's just inevitable, but you probably are the hardest puncher at your body weight I've seen come through the yard, and that's saying something, okay, because we've seen some, some punchers come, but, you know, for a guy his size, he has legit KO power, like legit. Um, did you train the box ever? Yeah. Never just fight. Just we just fight. Just fight. Recently though, I've been going to. That's what I meant to say. Can I actually do a shout out? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, Devin Mazin at Superfly MMA. He My man. He hit me right for February. This one. So you started going to the gym? Just like here now. Like, I've been there two times, three times. Why ain't you going more consistently? It's far. Uh, where is it, if you don't mind me? 45, 50 minutes from my house and stuff. My man. What about you? You going to a gym? Nah, I ain't been in the gym. Last time we was up here. Does Willing not have any gyms in the city? They do, but it's like, it's more like a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No. You know, no diss, diss to Dub V. I lived over there for the longest. There's not a lot of great gyms over there, you know, and that's just the truth. Like, you get down around Charleston, Huntington, that area, you got some. I know Wheeling, Morgantown, uh, you know, all of that area, it's tough. Yeah, they but, used to have a nice gym called the Bullpen, because Ronell Green. Yeah, yeah. Ronell Green and then. I think we had probably two or three guys from the Bullpen come through Street yeah, they was, yeah, they was telling me that too. Yeah. Telling me that. Yeah. So, what's your goal? I, I'm going to ask both of you, what's your goal for this fight and shit? Right now, just, I don't know, get like a little Having fun. Having fun? Having fun, yeah. Uh, what about you? I mean, at first it was for fun, but I mean, if, it goes, if I get that far, I'm gonna take it serious. Well, now you me too, yeah. If I had a good training thing, I would take it 100% serious. You another one that hit hard. And you hit hard for your weight, but you another one that got to work your technique. Yeah, and I ain't never been in a boxing gym before. How old are you? 23. How old are you? 24. You know, if, if both of y'all could just get steady and work your technique, you'd be good, man. You'd be good. You know, uh, maybe someday you can move down this way. I know. That's what we were, yeah, we we were just, just talking about, about that. that. We were just so, I tell everybody, yo, that, like, we've had guys move down there. They stay at the gym for a while till they get on their feet. Y'all are welcome if you decide to make the trip so which sport do you like better mma or boxing i like mma i like boxing but i like mma because it's more you know I'll, yeah i feel like realistic yeah yeah what about you mma, MMA. Yeah. so you guys like to mix grappling in with your shots you know you like to do a little bit of everything yeah because i feel like if my hands ain't working i'm gonna just try to take you down i guess boxing you only got your hands yeah 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 yeah, one yeah. Thing. uh who's your favorite fighter all time mma any anybody I don't know about all time, but right now, probably Tank. Tank. There you go. He say he like MMA, but he, he love Tank. I like yeah, it. What about you? I got to go with Mike Tyson or uh, Rampage Jackson. Now, look. Rampage, my second Man. favorite MMA fighter Man. ever. Dangerous. I used to get mad when he lost show. He fought John Jones. I bet against him because I fucking hate John Jones. I bet against him. And, uh... 
man, I thought Rampage was going to beat him, too. That put betting against John Jones. Yeah, every time, look, I am a vowed John Jones hater, right? <laughs> like, he, if there was a hater club, I'm a vowed, and listen, I bet against him with Lyoto Machida. Lost. Yeah. Rashad Evans, lost. Rampage, lost. Finally, I said, fuck it, he's the GOAT, you know? <laughs> but, uh... Who was he supposed to fight recently in the tours? Uh, and Ganu. Oh, it was yeah, a Ganu, right? Both of them. Yeah, Masvidal. Aspinall. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Got you, got you. <laughs> I think in Ganu <laughs> beats him. Fought, but know, I ain't betting on it. If he fought Masvidal, dude, I, I don't know what... No, that'd be bad.